Hot out there today, wasn't it? Coach, you want to start with Steven? Any questions? Okay, all right. Uh, first of all, uh, I just told the guys we called them up. I really am proud of our team. Uh, an outstanding spring. Uh, we challenged them. We put it on them physically, men mentally, uh, and we practiced four days a week uh, for four straight weeks, and we got after it. Today it was great. The guys were flying around, got a chance to get everybody to play. I think they played hard. I think they, they played for each other. Uh, we didn't have any serious injuries. That's something you always kind of stress about, you know, as far as spring game. And it was great uh, to be in front of our crowd. I really appreciate our fans that came out. I appreciate our band. They were outstanding. Um, it was just a really good atmosphere and a really good overall day for us. Right, something a little bit different with the jerseys, uh, with the Twitter handles. Can you kind of go through the thought process of doing that today? Yeah, you know, we, we've been saying, you know, we, we think the future of college football is here. You know, and if you really look at it, we've got 322,000 living alumni, and the average age is 36. They're all on social media. And we've got 72,000 students all on social media. And this is the new age, you know, personal branding, and you know, we're going to embrace it uh, within the NCAA rules. That's who we are, and that's, that's who we're going to be. That's what you like out of, out of Dylan Gabriel. He played for just the, the first yeah, half. Yeah, I mean, see Dylan, is, he's had an outstanding spring. Uh, his accuracy really stands out to me. Um, got great command of the offense. Uh, he is really special good when things break down with his decision making, his accuracy, and he, uh, he he really had an outstanding spring. What about your other quarterbacks today? I thought they did a good job. You know, I think all of them, you know, got in there and, and did some good things, moved move the ball. Um, you know, so I, I think, and you know, we let our three guys go live other than and Dylan are all four, and that's something we did all spring. We wanted to evaluate the guys. We know what we have with Dylan, but it was really good to see those other guys just be able to play football. Uh, it was good for our defense to have those guys live too. With, with Dylan, uh, the catch from Ryan O'Keefe, was that a play you desired, or was that something that Dylan called on his own? Well, that was just kind of a, a deal between him and O'Keefe. We had a base play, and they have a read on it, and they're really good together and on, uh, on the same page, and that was a. Uh, that was a really a wild play, you know, standing behind watching it. What did you think of the, uh, the running backs? Um, I thought they did a good, good, you know, all, early on I could tell our running backs were a little bit nervous and we weren't patient and we were running into the back of guys. But as the, the game went on, all the guys kind of slowed down. I think Johnny Richardson, he had a really good day receiving and running, had some explosive runs. And RJ did a good job and Tavius did a good job. You know, I think Good had the touchdown. So, it was uh, it was good. We got good information with with all four of those guys. Coach, how much of your offense have you put in, percentage wise? Uh, it's probably somewhere around sixty percent, probably, both offensively and defensively. But that was by design. We talked about earlier. You know, we didn't get a chance to go through walkthroughs with our guys, meetings with our guys like normally. We just went right on the practice field and installed on the practice field. And you know, our whole deal was that let's get a great foundation. Like, so they don't develop bad habits during the summer. So, uh, but we have great information from a coach's standpoint, what we have, what we need to improve on, and uh, but probably about 60%. How do you feel like the guys function within your offense, knowing what to do, the details? I thought today was really good. You know, it was the first time we got in front of a crowd with a band and all that, and you know, we let everybody play. We divide up ones against twos. And, you know, I thought the guys responded pretty good. And it's always good from a coach's standpoint, in this kind of environment, you find out more than a normal scrimmage. Because some guys raise their level when you get in front of a crowd and kind of a game type atmosphere, and some get a little bit nervous. So it was good information for us as a staff. Going back to the, in, uh, the Twitter handles, individuality that you're creating with them, so you're embracing it. How do you balance that while still trying to create an identity as a team? Oh, we're, we're going to be a team. I mean, we're, there, there's no gray area with that at all. It's just the new age of college football. What's the future going to look like? It's going to be different. You know, we're, we're going to be that team that uh, and that group that is looking ahead and uh, being prepared for it. So, but make no mistake, we are a team and we're an extremely close team. Coach, whose idea was the jersey? There? And have you guys hired any sort of firm to like? No, no, I, that, that's against the rules as far as that's concerned. But no, we're, uh, uh, it was just an idea within our staff. We've got a very uh, uh, creative staff that we're all on board. You know, when we say that, 
we believe the future of college football is here, and that's just the first step. And uh, just trying to look ahead, um, and, and I think it was a good thing. Guys, going back to the running backs, it looks like RJ Harvey got some real quality touches. What do you see from him in the spring, and what do you see from him today? Oh, he, he did a good job. He still learned to play running back now. He was a quarterback. So, you know, every every practice you can see him get a little more comfortable. And he was a little little nervous or whatever early, a little, little hesitant. And then it kind of clicked in that second quarter. He just loosened up and started playing. And I uh, thought he did a good job. Because you threw uh, Khalil Davis out there as a, as a running back at one point yeah. in the Wildcat. Well, was that – did he uh, – you know, did he uh, – come out there and campaign for that, or is that just something you guys have been talking about? No, no, I just, you know, we're, we're going to run the Wildcat. And, uh, you know, and just looking at what we have and all that, and he played running back in high school, and he is, uh, there, there's a good chance you could see him next year run some wild, the Wildcat, I'll just tell you that. Are there any players? From, uh, today? What's that? What you see from your team? I thought the defense did good. They were flying around. Uh, you know, Travis was pretty basic today. You, you know, there wasn't a lot of exotic things and all that. Just played football, and that was by design, too. But, you know, I think our guys were flying around. Are there any players that maybe from beginning of spring to now kind of kind of jumped out and caught your eye? Oh wow! Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> get me to the next press okay. I'll All be right. able to tell you. I mean, I got a lot of things in my mind right now. Offensive line, the <clears throat> offensive line looked pretty good for the most part. Yeah, I, th I think they did. Uh, you know, the thing that stands out to me about our offensive line, we got some depth, and uh, you know, Coach Hand. He mixed and matched guys. He moved guys, you know, constantly throughout the scrimmage, and I think that'll be a strength of ours next year. One of the knocks on Dylan is his mobility isn't. Uh, some people think it's not that great, but he looks pretty athletic out there. Now I don't know who said he's not athletic. Uh, they, they need to come watch a practice for about ten minutes. I mean, he's athletic. Uh, he can create. Uh, he extends plays. Uh, we actually threw it to him. Yeah. You see that? We threw it back to him. How about that? So, uh, yeah, we, we, we think he's very athletic. And he said Johnny Richardson obviously had a good day today. Did he have that kind of spring? We saw what he can do when he gets in the open Yeah, field. I think he just needs more experience. You know, I think that's the stand up to me. Uh, Coach Harris has done an outstanding job, you know, with him uh, developing him. What are the next uh, three or four months? What do you want to see out of this team as they go away? Yeah, yeah, it's pretty unique. We're on spring break this week, and that's very unique. Uh, so our guys are going to head out of here. Uh, we'll let our coaches kind of get moved and all that. We'll hit the ground running when we come back and obviously transition into recruiting. Uh, but then, you know, let them get with Coach Dawson, our strength coach, and let them get developed. We need to hit the weight room hard. We need to get stronger and faster. Uh, you know, and so we'll, we'll, we'll do that and get ready for the summer. Travis, before we all along here running class second half, did you see everything you wanted to see? In yeah, yeah, we saw everything we wanted to see. That was by design, running half. And, that way we can kind of control it. Wanted to let everybody play. And it was just enough, I think, and it was pretty hot out there, and the fans probably appreciate it, too. In terms of building trust, you know, where are you guys at from, you know, where you were able to spring practice to now as you wrap up and the guys kind of head yeah. on? Yeah, it's a process, but we're a lot years ahead. Um, I really appreciate our team, uh, the way they allowed us to coach them hard, the way they responded. Um, that's what I told them. I'm proud to be their coach, and our staff's proud to, to to be, be coaching this team. And so we got some outstanding young men that are really fun to coach and got a chance to, 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 to be good next year. And that's real exciting. Gus, you talked about how unique it was that you guys didn't really have a lot of guys jump in the transfer portal when you came as a new staff. Do you anticipate in the next three or four months, maybe you might lose some guys or maybe even gain some guys as well? Maybe. Yeah, you know, that's a hard question to answer right now. But like I said before, I mean, they didn't have a coach for a month and nobody went the portal. I've never heard of that. It says a lot about how close they are. And so, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see. Uh, I think we're a real close team. And um, I think there'll probably be very little of that if I have to, you have to be a guest of man. Good job. You say you're embracing name, image, and likeness as the future of college football. With the way legislation is going, you really don't have a choice. So, right? We'll see. I mean, I, you know, I, I don't know if anybody knows the answer to that. And we're going to be within the NCAA rules and everything we do, but we're going to be prepared. And uh, like I said, I mean, you look at what 322,000 living alumni, and the average age is 36, 72,000, and they're all on Twitter. You know, I mean, some of these big schools, you know, their average age is their alumni 65 and on Facebook. Okay. So we got a big advantage, okay? My, mom, my mom's on Facebook, you know? She checked it last night, matter of fact. Hey, Coach, on that name, image, and light, is that something on in recruiting that you're trying to talk to recruits about? Are they asking about it? Is that something that's going to be more and more prevalent? I think every recruit, you know, they're, they're, they're probably asking every staff in America what's going to happen. You know, we're just going to be that program that's going to be prepared if and when it happens. Coach, it's spring break. What's next? 
we're gonna we're gonna take a couple days off. Our staff, uh, we got guys that need to move here. Okay, so they're gonna get them. Matter of fact, I may get out of here for a day or two, uh, and then hit the ground running. And we come back. I, there's a lot of excitement. Our staff. I mean, we're taking off, but uh, they're not gonna take off recruiting. We'll be back ready to go, you know, after a short period of time. From when you were hired to today, have you accomplished all that you possibly could in such a short period of time? Boy, I tell you what, I, 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 it's been fast, but it's been a fun fast. Um, like I said, the big thing that stands out to me is just how good of kids we have. I mean, that really is, and that's not coach speak. I mean, we got outstanding kids, and we've strained them, and we challenged them, and they've responded, um, and it, it's, it's fun. I mean, I mean, I'm blessed to be the head coach here, and it's just, you can feel it. You can feel it when you walk down the hall, when you walk outside. I mean, you know, it's something special is happening here, and I'm just blessed to, to be here as that coach. I'm guessing you haven't had a chance to watch the first couple of days, but you said last week you're going to watch the Masters tomorrow. Do you have a pick uh, to win the Masters you tomorrow? You know what? I can't even tell you who's winning. Okay. <laughs> I mean, is Dustin Johnson, is he close? He, he missed the guy. Oh, okay. There you go. That's, that's who I would have picked. That's who I was hoping to watch tomorrow. So. Guys, one another big picture topic. Obviously, one thing gets discussed is the one-time transfer rule, and I'm wondering if you have any thoughts on that. I think it's going to happen. I mean, I, I think everybody knows that it's going to happen. So, you know, that's just reality. You get vaccinated? No. No. You got? I don't know. I don't know yet. Gus, uh, campus is wide open for recruits starting June 1st, and I don't know. Say it again. Uh, June first, I allow on for on campus recruiting uh, again. How exciting is that concept? Of yeah, we're we're hoping it happens. I think every head coach in America hopes it happens. Uh, there's nothing like being able to get in front of somebody face to face and sit on Zoom, and uh, you know we'll, we'll be prepared for that. We're we're moving forward like it's going to happen. You've probably seen official visit dates and all that. I mean, we're we're just getting prepared, and we're we're hopeful. Anything else? Appreciate it. Thanks a lot, Coach. Thanks, Coach. Thank you.